Hello from the Florida Strawberry Festival. So it's been a few years since we've been here together, but we are in Plant City to try some fried foods, to ride some rides, and I think we're actually gonna go ride this right now. This is the Berry Big Wheel. <laughs> it is very big. It is very big. It's like a fun like, strawberry festival. Ah. So we started with the very big wheel just so we could sort of see where we are because we parked and came into the strawberry festival from a very different location than we have previously. Okay, so here we are on the wheel. We're in an orange gondola. I'm not a big fan of orange, unfortunately. But this is where we entered the fair way over here and we just sort of walked all the way down in that direction where we parked. So the other times that I've come to the Strawberry Festival, I came with Brennan once, and then I came with Dennis once, and I think I ventured in over here, and then I ventured in way down there before, and uh, we just made it to the top of this. So this is sort of like the, the kid area, I think, over here. So I think we're going to prioritize getting some food, I think, right now, because we look pretty hungry. We got here around 3 o'clock. I wonder how many laps we're allowed to take on this. So this was $7 per person, and then admission was $10, and then parking was $10. You can sort of see just the entire festival area over there on the other side of the stadium. So we'll be definitely making our way over there. And then we'll be exploring sort of over here. I think again, this is just for the smaller kids. But there should be a plenty, uh, a plethora of food options. Plenty of food options, I think is what I'm trying to say. It's very loud here. God, this music. So I wore this pizza shirt here because I'm sure that we're going to be getting a lot of not the healthiest food today, but I'm excited for it. This is one of my favorite parts of the festival, just eating all the fried food. Okay, we pretty much made it to the very top. I don't know why it has this gate right here. This is fun. I wish this wasn't like a separately ticketed experience in addition to the attractions, but it was worth it just to see where we are in the festival because now we know. Alright, so we just got off of the Ferris wheel and now let's see where we end up in terms of the food that we eat. So we have fried alligator and lobster, we have frozen bananas and french fries, funnel cakes, turkey legs, cheese curds. There are chicken bowls over here, and corn dogs it looks like, and hot dogs. Nachos. Over here there are onion rings and cheese fries. And pretty much everything deep fried. Oh, they have deep fried tomatoes and pickles. There are chicken wings. And lemonade, cotton candy. And then pizza too. This is over by the carousel again. This is the sort of the kids section. With this we pretty much made a lap around at least this section of like the food area. So Brennan decided to get a little stromboli right there. Oh, and you got a Powerade. So you got your pizza over here, and I think I'm going to maybe get something back over here, maybe? So Brennan's sitting at the table back over there. What I think I might do is either get a Philly cheesesteak or a corn dog. Although this is all very tempting, what they have here at this particular booth. Oh man. So never mind, I actually got these Saratoga chips from this booth right over here. This has cheddar cheese, bacon bits, and chives on it. So we both enjoyed our food and devoured it. really good. I know, right? They were very light though, like very, very crispy and thin. Um, but now we're over here at the, uh, this entrance to the fair. Let's see if we can get some uh, tickets. All right, so we purchased our tickets. We have two sheets of 20 tickets. It does not look like they're doing like wristbands right now or anymore, so we have to buy individual tickets. So we each have 20 tickets to spend. Each attraction costs like three to five tickets, so we have to be sparing with what we want to do, right? <laughs> So I think we decided on doing the fun slide here because it is an absolute staple for us whenever we go to a carnival or a festival. And then we might do the bumper cars or we might just head over to the other side of the carnival. So we were going to do the fun slide right over here. There was a little bit of a line for it. What I think we might want to do is just sort of explore the carnival, just what we can do, and then we'll decide what we want to use these on. And I don't want to lose these. So that's where we came from right over there. And now we are turning down this, this alley. I suppose in the direction of just the rest of the fair, which is way over there. I am definitely still hungry, so we're going to have to try to figure that out as we make our way over to the other side of the carnival. So we're going to head through the main exhibition hall over here, presumably where they have some strawberries. You can even meet some strawberries right there, that's neat. <laughs> so there are a lot of vendors in here, but most of what we're looking for are the strawberries. So we have tons of different strawberry options here, as well as the strawberry shortcake, which I think I'm going to be getting. So we're in line, and this is where we make our own strawberry shortcakes. So we have this, like, strawberry shortcake bar. It's, it's pretty fun. We're about to go make the strawberry shortcake. Yay. <laughs> so here's the little strawberry whipped cream bar. So I have my cake right here. It looks like I can just put a scoop of uh, strawberries. Whatever you want. 
on there and then whipped cream and then I get a little little strawberry at the end. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. Roy! Is that enough? <laughs> oh no. And then I have my whipped cream. Oh no. Nobody put this man in charge. Oh god. <laughs> oh my god. And then they give us a little strawberry on top. Thank you. Here. Thank you. Sure. Oh, thank, thank you. you. So here it is. This is my strawberry shortcake, which I I, I didn't really ask for specification, but I, I just put as many strawberries on there as I could, and then some whipped cream, and then they gave us two strawberries <laughs> for myself and Britain. So this is what I just did. Make your own strawberry shortcake. Mm. On a cake or a biscuit, which would have would have been interesting to put this on a biscuit. Did you get any cake in that bite? Mm -hmm. <laughs> This is delicious though. There we go. Mm. <laughs> so we're back outside. This is Burger Bob's next to Spaghetti Eddie's. And then there are the Butcher Boys Euros and steak sandwiches over here. And then all the desserts that you could possibly imagine and even Boys more fried food. <laughs> oh, Brennan, you want to get some lemonade? You always get lemonade. I'm kind of, my stomach's kind of adjusting right now. I don't know if I need something super tart. How about, how about this? I'll take another bite of this though. We can get some cinnamon buns. And then uh, they have elephant ears and funnel cakes. I'm trying to hold that for my fried Reese's. I need to see if they have the uh, the, the bacon wrapped uh, meatballs. Over here they have so many different sweets. We could name them all, but that would take a while. But I'm tempted to get all of them. So we've now turned the corner. Getting into the other part of the festival. There's the Piggy Palace over here, the barbecue. I hope we made the right decision eating as early as we did. We also need to try to decide where we're using our tickets because we have to be conscientious about where we do that. It's a bummer that we could not purchase a, like a, a, you know, like a like a wristband or something that they've done in the past. And I'm trying to look around and I don't see anybody else with them. We are definitely going to be getting some uh, deep fried. Uh, desserts probably on the way out because Brennan really likes to get her deep fried Snickers, right? Reese's. Reese's? Yeah. So far the heckling has been at a minimal, which is nice. I don't want to jinx myself as we're getting more to the uh, carny game centric portion of the festival of the carnival. Look at those giant Pokemon right there. That's so tempting. I think we're just going to walk all the way down to the other end of the festival. Of the owl of the carnival, the fair. It's not a festival. What well, it is? It's a strawberry festival. Yeah. That is interesting right there. It's, it's like a, Christmas it's a Christmas tree, tree of meat. meat. Yeah. Nice. I really hope that they have the bacon wrapped meatballs. It's one of my favorite carnival staples. I forgot we were looking for that. We are. So we crossed over to the outer walkway of the festival. We've almost made it down to the very end. This is a roller coaster that is tempting. So this is five tickets, which according to my mathematics, is an entire fourth of the tickets that we purchased. Is it worth it? You gotta do something around. Okay, well then we walked past the entrance. Okay, here we are. We got sat right next to each other for some reason. <laughs> Which probably means we're going to spin a little bit. Uh, are you excited, Brennan? These things are fun, but they always hurt. Okay, I'm just going to keep this facing forward. <laughs> we did that way over there. Oh, the other. Start a festival. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> nice. Ah. A little intimidating, right? Oh. <laughs> so far, so good. Oh God. <laughs> 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 so he parked over here somewhere. <laughs> Wee! Oh, it takes a photo. Oh, good. Oh, oh God. God. <laughs> Oh, oh, God. Oh. 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 Fun. Oh. And now we do the spinning. Oh, God. Oh, my 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 Oh man, there goes my family, Finley. Ah! Oh jeez. Oh my god. Oh, god. I'm so sorry. Oh jeez. Oh, oh god. 
What just happened? <laughs> I'm nauseous. I'm like about to fall over right now. I almost fell into the right track just trying to get out. I've never gotten that dizzy on a carnival ride before, I don't think. Oh my god, are you okay? I'm trying not to curse again. See, they're spinning a lot too. Oh my god. That was so intense. We just spin endlessly. <laughs> Half of the ride. That was fun though, right? It was fun in an extremely surprising way. Right? So this is the far corner of the, uh, the festival over here. Probably not going to do this. I haven't done that in a long time. So many rides. I just wish I had the courage to do. Rides that I never really did before. I did do this, but I haven't done that in a long time. We could do the, uh, the Haunted Mansion over here. So this is what's kind of sad is that usually this is something that we would do, this Haunted Mansion, but because we have a limited amount of tickets, we have to be you know, sparing with what we decide to do. Which normally, if we had like the unlimited wristband, we would just go on all of these rides, or a lot of them. So surprisingly, I'm still pretty interested in getting some sort of a, a savory food at some point, and then probably some dessert again as well. There's another fun house way over there. And should I do a carnival game to win Arlo a little prize? There's the uh, aerial swing. Cooking some meats right over there. Oh God, Vernon. <laughs> Just everything about this is just so fun. Just the, the fried foods and the carnival games. Over there's the Himalaya, which I don't think we'll be doing this time. There's an orange Scooby-Doo, right? Let's see, we want to try to find another silly slide, I think somewhere over here. So we turn the corner, we came from way back over there. And we've done this before, this one is fun. Probably not going to do this. Let's see, there is that roller coaster way over there that's also fun. There's some more Ferris wheels over here, and then more carnival games. This place that sells boba tea. But I think we want to try to head somewhere back over here. So, Vernon decided to get a strawberry boba tea over here. They do have a lot of different options. And you got this because it's the strawberry festival, I presume, right? This is like a double decker Ferris wheel here, which looks very intimidating. And there's the coaster over there that we might want to do that one. Let's we'll see. Some more bumper cars. And then Universal Horror over here. Okay, so we're turning the corner to head towards this roller coaster over here. This is tempting over here. Oh, this roller coaster. I remember this one. This one I think intimidates Brennan a little bit. I was going to try it. Really? Yeah. So this one is also five tickets. So we're going to go get in line for this. And uh, yeah, I think I've done this every single time that I've come to the festival. So we should be up next in just a minute. This. Brennan has never ridden this before and I've ridden it a couple times. So my camera was a little bit too big, so I'm recording this on my phone. This is your first time on this. Oh. Okay, so we're around, we're heading towards the opposite corner of the carnival. Sort of over here. This is like the super intense Himalaya over here. Oh my god, look at all these meats. I almost just tripped. Looking at all of them, they smell so good. And then another, uh, like, Gravitron. So I'm considering getting some more food. This is pretty much where we came from, just sort of down there, we just, like, cut across. Okay, so we came from over there, and here we are, back over by the little coaster and the swings. So there is a slide back over here, so we will be coming back. So there's the roller coaster over there. So now we're seeing if we missed any sort of carnival food that we would have wanted to try, maybe over here somewhere. There's the stadium right there. We're going to head down this alley over here. What I'm mostly looking for are the meatballs that they have, like the bacon wrapped meatballs. And I say that they have them, I just mean like that you would find at the carnival, which are probably just going to be at the Central Florida Fair. So they probably don't have them back over here. There are multiple just like entrances and exits into the fair, so it's sort of hard to keep track of that and just where we are in general. Okay, so now we're back in the other direction and we're going to see what they have back over here. This is sort of where we originally, I think, walked past here to get down toward the other into the carnival, I think. Okay, we did not find the meatballs, which is a little bit sad, so we might try to go, try to find like a Polish sausage, I think, or a corn dog, which might be back over here somewhere. There's a lot of chicken on a stick, which is also pretty tempting, but I think I'm going to go over here for this Italian sausage. What did I say earlier? Polish sausage? I remember waiting over here for a corn dog before. This is an incredibly long line. I remember it being worth it, but it was still just a corn dog for me. 
So this is what I think I'm going to get, this Italian sausage. Except for the cookie barn last time, I remember that. But they have Italian in it and Polish uh, sausages here. I don't know which one I'm going to get. So I ended up getting the Polish hot dog, which looks pretty good, right? I hope. All right, now we're heading underneath the stadium, back over to the other side of the fair, which is where we came from. We have 10 more tickets to use each, too. So we were going to go back over to the other side of the carnival, but I realized, or I remember, that we were going to run the slides over here, so we're coming back over here, and I just ate my Polish dog, which was delicious. Okay, so we're back on the other side of the carnival, and looking for the slide, and then we're going to try to use our remaining tickets that we have 10 left of. So we found the slide, and this is four tickets, which is pretty expensive to go down a slide, because each ticket is a dollar. Darn it. I don't have the wristbands anymore. All right, we're heading up the steps to go down the slide. I wish this wasn't four tickets to do, but this is one that we always do, so we sort of have to. I was pretty convinced that this was going to be three tickets, so we could find a couple three ticket attractions and then a four ticket attraction, but I don't know, we'll see. Go. Oh no! Burn in! Oh, wait, here I come! <laughs> Yay! I don't know! Probably that Polish sausage. So that was absolutely not worth four tickets, but it was still pretty fun, right? Now we can head, I guess, back over there, to the other side of the carnival. We stopped by to look at more of the food over here. Those massive corn dogs and chicken on a stick and french fries and, and burgers and pizza and nachos. So this booth has pretty much fried everything. Green tomatoes, pickles, green beans, avocado, mushrooms, okra. Oh my God, that's a lot. Okay, so we pushed somebody back into the other side of the festival. More or less, the area over here. We did park way down somewhere over here. Over here they have strawberry daiquiris and pita coladas, and they have some Dole Whips, which is pretty cool. But I think we're holding out for uh, some, some fried alternatives, right? Yeah. Strawberry shortcake. I would love some strawberry cheesecake if they have that somewhere around here, and I'm sure that they do. So I came over to this stand just to see if they had any cheesecake, and they don't, so it's only shortcake, unfortunately. So we're pretty much just looking for cheesecake now. If we can find it, I know that there's probably some on a stick somewhere that Brennan has mentioned, maybe down over here. This place looks like it has pretty much every single dessert. It's another entrance into the fair over here, so maybe I can find something over here that's interesting. If it's not a cheesecake, it might be something else. Aha! Frozen cheesecake. Raspberry. What? And cherry. Over there they have strawberry pizza, which is enticing, but I was really sort of in the mood for um, that cheesecake. So this is sort of next to where we came into the festival. This is the Candyland Warehouse with just so many different types of candies in here. So essentially this is just an entire walkthrough experience where you get a basket and then you are able to fill up your basket and mix and match as much candy as you want and then you weigh it at the very end and then you pay for it. This is a pretty fun idea. So we ended up not getting any candy but this was a pretty cool experience to get to do this. This is fun. So what I think I'm going to do is get what I was thinking about getting before, which is one of these donuts up here with strawberries all over it. Okay, so the donuts, there are multiple different donut cards, but there's one over here next to the, uh, the what do you call these? Bumper cars? Yeah, so this will be our last attraction we're going to do today with our final remaining tickets. We did not get to do a lot today in terms of attractions, just due to the I don't know, having to purchase individual tickets, which kind of stinks, so we still have ones left over that we cannot use. Because we've not encountered one for less than four. Okay, Brennan's getting into this one. I guess I'll get into this one. Are you ready to go down? Ready. Okay, here we go. Ow! This is like a very busy game right now. Right, I'm going to the far end over here. Oh no! Oh, I got T-boned. Gonna hide behind this one. Where's Brennan? Oh no! Okay, I'm gonna chase Brennan now. Come back here. Oh, I'm trapped. There she is! Oh no! <laughs> oh god! Ow! <laughs> How's it going? Go. I've got her from behind! Gotcha! And now she's trapped! Oh, and the game is over. No, it's not. Get out of here! I'm trying to drive! Ugh. I've got her now! Gotcha! <laughs> Yay! What? Put on your blinker! Okay, so we're gonna now not the shoot. And the game's over. Am I gonna get a light tap? Oh, light tap! So that was fun. It lasted a little bit longer than I thought it would, so that's cool. But now we don't have any more tickets. So I guess it's time to get some dessert. 
and spend more money. Thanks for line at the donut place. I'm going to be getting the strawberry cream donut, which sounds really good. Okay, and here it is, my $11 strawberry cream donut. This is a big donut with strawberries on it and whipped cream. And it's super glazed. It's very glazed, and then we're getting, uh, we're gonna go get Brendan her a little final snack of the day. I used to love these as a fair prize. This is where I got my chips earlier, and then we rode the Ferris wheel right here. The, the what was this called? The the very big Ferris wheel or something. And now we're heading. Uh, where are we going? There's a place over here. Yeah. Okay. There it is to get Brendan's. Uh, what was it? You like your uh, your your fried? I like to do this. Your fried. Reese's. Why was this so hard? I don't know. I'm walking and talking and I can barely do anything. I'm just waiting for her fried Reese's. Over here, this is another line for the buttermilk corn dogs that goes all the way around. But they do have some fried pies over here, which is tempting, as well as some uh, strawberry lemonade, too. Okay, so there's Brennan's fried Reese's, and here's my donut that I've not eaten. And then, of course, I did go and get in line and get a uh, fried uh, strawberry pie. Yeah. They said to make sure that if I liked it, to let them know, uh, but if I did not like it, then to not let them know. <laughs> okay, I had to run back over and tell them that it was incredibly delicious because it was. It's pretty much like a... An adult toaster strudel. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like a like a strawberry cheesecake, but I mm. wanted. And that was Sandy Ann's fried old-fashioned pies. And I had my fried Reese's, and it was the best because they never always have it at the fairs and stuff, so whenever they do, it's time to go. <laughs> oh no. It's always nice. Whatever that was for. So I do think that it's pretty much time to go ahead and head out. The sun is starting to set. We've been here for several hours. So I think that this is where we exit because this is where we came into the festival earlier. Okay, so this is the exit right over here. And then we have to sort of backtrack to where we parked, which is kind of on the other side of the Ferris wheel way down there. This was probably the best idea because it's getting pretty busy now heading into the Strawberry Festival. So we made it back to the car, which is very close to the Strawberry Festival. We're also really good parking next to this very intimidating sign right here. <laughs> But that was a trip to the Strawberry Festival. We had a really great time. Traffic getting here was not the best. It might not be the best getting back to Orlando, but it was still fun. Normally, we go to the Central Florida Fair every single year, but since one of the, the pandemic, it's kind of like gotten a little less and less and less every single year. So we wanted to we wanted to go out. to at least a fair or a carnival every year if we can, and it's always been a tradition to, to go to that one. But maybe if we go back next year, maybe it'll be a little bit different. Mm -hmm. But we haven't been here together in years, so that's why we wanted to come check this out again. And I think it was worth it. We got a lot of strawberry, um, just mostly sweets, uh, but we got a lot of savory stuff as well that was delicious. I have a fun fact. So the last time that we went, came to the Strawberry Festival, according to the date that I posted the photo on Instagram, was the day that Arlo was born. Hmm. I did not know that. Yeah. Well, now I know. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming with us today. We'll see you soon. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. And goodbye. Bye.